how engineering failure was the only way all along. Every programmer has a program that is just too hard to make. And eventually, every programmer must give up, even if just to live. But giving up, always, consistently, reproducibly, and reliably, solves nothing. But, but, giving up twice gives you that much-needed upgrade. Giving up thrice approaches that magic zone. If you allow yourself to give up numerous times, over and over again, you will eventually become a leading expert on the collection of issues before you. And the code behind the completed project will be unlike any other code ever written. Here, you will not be begging code to work for you. You will be telling it how code should work. Now, you must understand, failure is nothing like writing a second version. Failure cannot even be considered a triumph. You don't go outside to touch some grass and then sit down to write a 2.0 or the next reference implementation. You give up programming for months and when you get back to it, you start with a blank project. In effect, you reset time. You go back to the beginning. Except this time, you are incredibly enhanced by the wretched sum of all the failures from before. We are talking about failures that get you fired. So you will not be doing any of this at the office. You can only pull this off in your chair at home. The entire world outside of your chair sees failure as a weakness, limitation, a disaster, an end. And yes, Failure is scary. A failure in the programming world is a step back in time, just like that. Because fixing failed code is a Sisyphean task, a road constantly riddled with unending litany of bugs. You have to start from the beginning often with different technologies or languages even. The real shocker here is that there is no other way to learn programming for real. Oh, there are plenty of paths, but failure is such a magnificent power that they are all useless by comparison. A professor can spend their entire career repeating how there is only one way to create an efficient database. Just to be proven wrong by the NoSQL madness of the past decade. There is only one way. The most powerful way. The difference in the way the code is written is the only proof of any of this. Traditional engineers just do the same thing over and over like a database professor until something sputters. But here, your internalization of the problem takes over for the programming framework. Your code becomes suspended in what you have created in your mind. Afterward, 
A note on standardized education, which is to say, ineffective education. Not only is failure cast as mind-shattering, shameful, and permanent, where students are held back to be forever one year late, but students can't even choose to learn what moves them, what they would enjoy failing at. Fake education and the existential dread that comes along with it, the impact of which so many adults love to interpret as teenagers being stupid hormones, whereas the teenagers are a lot smarter than they are has gone for long enough, so long, that you yourself have put one foot in the ranks of men who have sold the world. I therefore urge you to make standardized and stupid education second and hire a programming tutor for your children and yourself. Perhaps more than one. Perhaps one for every day of the week. And please, do note, right now, early on, that there is little to no gap between you or your children finishing a stable, strong application and launching a tiny business on top of it. Perhaps I am not wrong in saying that there are only four subjects. Reading, writing, arithmetic, and programming. Where programming encompasses all the rest with insightful simulations spanning all betwixt the quark and the quasar.